Now transfer the dough to the center of the baking tray. Then with the back of two spoons, spread the dough out until almost the whole tray is evenly covered. The dough is elastic and it will pull back. So don't worry if it doesn't cover the tray completely. To prevent the spoons from sticking to the dough, wet them with water. Put it back in the slightly warm oven to proof for another 45 minutes. We're gonna prepare the topping with some extra virgin olive oil, water and salt. Give it a quick whisk, then dip your fingers in it and sink the fingers in the dough, making dimples across the focaccia. Then you can drizzle with a tiny bit of oil water mixture so that it fills the dimples and then add plenty of rosemary on top and optionally a tiny bit of coarse sea salt. Now traditional Italian focaccia has quite a bit of oil and quite a bit of salt but you can totally make it with less oil by using parchment paper and reducing the oil on top and with less salt. Bake in a very hot preheated oven for about 18 to 25 minutes depending on your oven on the medium low rack. The focaccia is ready when it's golden and crispy on top and crispy on the bottom. Now take it out of the baking tray, cut it with a serrated knife, it's crispy and golden on top, it's super soft and fluffy on the inside and 